Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am your maths teacher and this is your maths book of class 5. Now open your books exercise 1.3 page number 20. Here you have exercise 1.3 page number 20. Now today my topic is multiplication. Now what is multiplication? Multiplication, a mathematical operation performed on a pair of numbers in order to derive a third number called a product. Multiplication consists of adding a number to itself a specified number of times. Thus, multiplying 6 by 3 means adding 6 to itself 3 times. Now, in exercise 1.3, we have three parts of multiplication. Question number 1, question number 2 and question number 3. In question number 1 and 2, we have 6 digit numbers multiplying with two digits or three digits now i can explain you that how we multiply three digit number with six digit and two digit number with six digits here we have an example of multiplication of six digit number multiply with two digit as in multiplication we start multiply any number we just start from unit place now here we have 6 digit number multiply with 2 digit and we start multiplication with unit place number. Now here we have unit place is 0. 0 is multiply with the whole number. As 0 have a special specialty that if 0 is multiply with any number gives us 0. Just like here, 0 is multiplied with 0 gives us 0, 0 is multiplied with 2 gives us 0, 0 is multiplied with 8 gives us 0. Again, 0 multiply 6, 0, 0 multiply 4, 0, 0 multiply 1, 0. Now, turn to 1. Unit place number is over, so we write the cross over unit place. Because 0 is at unit place and we multiply the 0 with the whole number, so we write the cross over unit place. Turn to tens, that is 1. 1 multiply with the whole number as 1 half. Also, in a specialty that 1 is multiplied with any number gives us the number itself. Like that, 1 multiplied with 0 gives us 0, 1 multiplied with 2 gives us 2, 1 multiplied 8, 1 multiplied 6, 6, 1 multiplied 4 gives us 4, and 1 multiplied with 1 gives us 1. Now, there is no end one number, so we add these two numbers 0. 0, 0 plus 2, 2, 0 plus 8, 8, 0 plus 6, 6, 0 plus 4, 4 and 0 plus, sorry, 1. Okay, now, we repeat our answer with the product that is over here. 1,468,200. Put the commas after three numbers and that is your answer. Now, we have an example of six digit multiplication with three digit numbers. Same like the two digit, but now we have three digit number. Again, we multiply with the unit place, then go to the tens and hundred. First, we multiply with the unit place, and that is four. Four multiply with one gives us four. Four two is eight. Four three is twelve. Two here. What come carry? Four four sixteen. Seventeen. Five and four five is a twenty. As unit place number is over, so we write the cross here. Same, the next number is as it is, like first number. So we repeat the previous answer. 4, 8, 2, 7, 5, 0, and 2. Okay, now we go to the next one, that is 6. And 6 is on 100 place. Unit place and 10 place is over, so we cross unit place and 10 place. 6 multiply with 1 gives us 6, 6 multiply with 2, 12, 19, 25, 6, 1 is 6, 8 and 6, 5 is 30. Now, they have no more numbers, so we add these three numbers, 4 plus cross plus cross 4, 8 plus 4, 12, 2 here, here 1 carry, 2 plus 1 plus 8 plus 6, 17. 7 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 gives us 12. 
5 plus 1 plus 7 plus 9 gives us 22. 2 plus 5 plus 5 gives us 12. 8, 2 plus 1 plus 8 gives us 11. And 2 plus 1, 3. And we write 3. Okay, now again we repeat our answer with product and put the commas after 3 numbers. 331,222,724 is your answer. Now the remaining parts of multiplication same like that. So do it. The practice of this question at your home. Now we start division. Now what is division? Division is a splitting into equal parts or groups. It is the result of fair sharing for example, there are 12 chocolates and 3 friends want to share them. How do they divide the chocolates that 12 divided by 3 gives us 4? How? That? Here we have this symbol is called radical. 12 is called dividend, 3 is called divisor and 3 multiplied with 4 gives us 12. 3, 3 to 4, 12 and 12 minus 12 gives us 0. This 4 is called quotient and this 0 is called remainder. This is the process of division. Okay, now we have the question. 983,450 divided by 89. Let's see. For this question, we need a rough work. That is the multiplication of 89 with 2 up to 9. This rough work helps us to complete this question. Okay, now we start our question. First, we compare the two digit with two digit numbers. Here we have 89 and here we have 98. Now check it out whether there is 98 or less than 98. You start from 2, 89 multiply with 2 gives us 178. This is largest number. So we can multiply 89 with 1 gives us 89 as you know in division we do the subtraction over here now 8 minus 9 is not possible so we take a help from 9 and 9 gives us 1 so this one makes 8 or 18 18 minus 9 gives us 9 8 minus 8 0 no need of 0 so we drop a number 3 93 again we check it out Again, we have 18 multiplied 2 with 178. So, we can multiply 89 with 1. Again, gives us 89. Again, we do the subtraction. 3 minus 9. Again, not possible. We take a help from 9. 9 gives us 1 and 1 makes 3 up to 13. 13 minus 9 gives us 4. Okay, now we take down 4. Now it is not possible. 89 and 44. 89 ones are 89. Now we can't write 89 over here. So we can do that. 89 multiply with 0 gives us 0. Now 44 minus 0 over 44. So now the next number is 5. Now check it out. Whether in 89 we have 445 or less than 445. Now check it out. 178, 267, 356, 445. Here we have 445. Same. So 89 multiplied with 5 gives us 445. Here we do again subtraction. So now here we have 5 minus 5, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. So there is no need of 0. The last number is 0. As you know, any number is multiplied with 0 gives us 0. So, 89 multiplied with 0 gives us 0. So, 0 minus 0 gives us 0. Here, this is our remainder and this is our quotient. Now, write quotient which is equals to 11,050 and remainder as you know there is no remainder so 0 over here ok now the next question the next question we have 3 digit number 6 digit divided by 3 digit number 
again we compare three digit with three digit now check it out 123 is present in so there is no 123 now we take another one that is zero 1230 check it out 1230 here we have 1134 and 1323 i think this number is much suitable so 189 multiplied with 6 gives us 101 1134 89 multiplied with 6 gives us 100 1134 Okay, now all of you, you know that here we do the subtraction. So, minus, draw the line. 0 minus 10 is not possible. So, we take a help from 3. 3 gives us 1 and 10 minus 4 gives us 0. 2 minus 3 not possible. Again, 2 helps us. 12 minus 3 gives us 9. And 1 minus 1, 0. As you know, 0 is not necessary. So, we can't write here. Okay, now 963. Again, check it out. 963 or less than 963. Here we have 756 or 954. 954, 189 multiplied with 5 gives us 9545. 3 minus 5 is not possible, so gives... 6 gives us 1 and 13 minus 5, 8, 5 minus 1, 4. The last number is 9. So, our quotient is 65 and divisor and dividend are the same. Here, 189 and 189. So, we multiply with 1 gives us 189 and there is 0 remainder. So, we write the quotient as well as remainder. Quotient which is equals to 651 and remainder again we have no remainder so there is zero and this is your answer this is the question of division as we have the third one question that is 311,168 divided by 32 same like this so do it at your home thank you students